Hello, hello, and welcome to the new update. And as I promised last time, today I have something great to share with you. And I had my new experience today in the city because I've been to an unpacked store. And if this concept is unfamiliar to you, this is a store where you basically can bring your own containers, you can fill it up and they have many different um, foods, uh, products, um, like cleaning products, they have clothes, they have coffee, they have basically everything, but it's, it's supposed to be unpacked. They also have many ecological products, so in general it's a really great concept and I've been there already because they have my favorite dried mangoes uh, and of course I couldn't resist and I took some for the way. But today I had a different focus because I wanted to find another shampoo and as I said last time I wanted to focus on smaller brands and possibly also ecological brands so I found a new one. Also I bought my first, first ever um, I don't even know how to say it, a firm toothpaste or like a toothpaste in form of little tablets that you basically just chew like a candy and this is something I've never used before in my life. I've heard about it and I was having mixed feelings so I wanted to try it out by myself and I must say I'm really pleasantly surprised. Like I didn't expect it to be so nice. It was a little bit less foamy than a normal toothpaste but overall I grade this experience like 10 out of 10. I will definitely do it again and um, I'm not sure about the price. I don't really remember how much I paid for those tablets that I took. I didn't know if I would like it so I only took a few and it was something about 16 euros per 100 uh, grams. So. Yeah, I'm bad with math, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more expensive than a traditional toothpaste. Um, I will calculate it for myself to know how much it will cost uh, to have like two or three tablets per day. And I'll, be, I'll get back to you with this knowledge next time. Uh, and I also didn't really know where should I, where, where should I store it, so I just reused some plastic package that I already had that I used for my earrings. I think it actually looks very cute because it's a heart shape, so it fits. Uh, and then also my boyfriend got himself a bamboo toothbrush, and it even says on it zero waste toothbrush. Um, honestly, I'm still not convinced personally because I was using my electric toothbrush for years. However, I know that the, the endings of the toothbrush are really not uh, ecologically friendly, so that may be my another step. I will think about that. And I don't want to put myself in a too big of a pressure, so I'm trying to take smaller steps, I'm trying to not to put myself in this eco guilt as I was mentioning last time. So um, another update when it comes to my cleaning product is those two products. Uh, this one is for cleaning the toilet. It's supposed to be a little bit more ecologically friendly than the one that I was using last time. I know that you can clean your toilet with a mixture of uh, vinegar or um, baking soda or baking powder. However, uh, this is the lazy part of me where I just like to have like a fixed product to use. Uh, I may reuse this bottle in the future if it's possible. Just have this really comfortable package to, to use. I don't know about this. And this is just a washing powder for the white laundry because my previous one was um, packed in a plastic bottle. So I wanted to try out something else. This is a powder. I'm used to using liquids, but I was told that actually liquids are even worse for the environment and worse for our skin than the powder. I may need um, to learn a little bit more about this in the future. I can't tell if this is true. It says that this one comes with a package that has been recycled and apparently it's a little bit better for the environment. Um, in the future, I'm also open for this idea of um, bringing my own uh, package and refilling it at this unpacked store that I was mentioning before because I saw that they already have it. Um, but yeah, I'm eager to try this one too and sounds good to me. Overall, as for now, this experience with um, turning my bathroom into a plastic-free zone has some ups and downs. I must say it's not always that easy and as I already mentioned last time, I started to feel a little bit guilty about all the plastic that I have and all the packaging that I still choose. On a positive note, I definitely started to rethink some other choices when it comes to my kitchen and overall uh, home living. Um, I 
really don't think it's possible to be completely plastic free. I, I want to believe in it, but um, I also want to stay realistic. But it's definitely a great journey and I'm really happy to be a part of this European uh, Footprints Pledging Initiative. And as I always say, check out what the other people are up to and maybe inspire yourself and definitely check out their Instagram page and we see each other next time. Bye!